Hey everyone, after the peacock model built by Metal Earth, I thought uh, now that I have a kind of a, a confidence boost with these uh, Metal Earth models, I thought I would kind of attempt the next Icon X series, which is the Parrot. And the Parrot actually is uh, less parts or less sheets than the peacock model that I've previously built. And this one actually is just two and five eighths sheets and what that means is that you're gonna have two full size sheets and then a half sheet and then an eight size sheet um, to make up the model for the parrot um, overall the process for this parrot is actually it's very similar to the peacock itself in terms of assembly except that you probably uh, can, can see that you have this base here uh, a stand that's actually made out of plastic while the peacock was actually a sheet metal uh, base itself so when compared to the peacock model, um, I actually do like the peacock model design better just because I, I love the colors of the peacock but I really do like the wings of the parrot more than the peacock just because of all the level of details and this actually was a longer build than the peacock just because there are a lot more feathers to deal with in this model versus the peacock model um, but uh, i really do love because of the amount of work they're going to be doing on the wings itself just how the wings came out so i like using a wire cutter um, there are a lot of different types of wire cutters out there but you want to look for the one where the the tip is very small so that you can kind of get in between and the metal earth series actually um, have these gaps on purpose around the the tabs where it's connected to the sheet metal for you to actually fit your wire cutter in to snip off that portion so if you're interested in working on the sheet metal models um, a very good investment would be to get a decent wire cutter. They're not that expensive. If you go on Amazon or eBay or some online retailer, you can usually buy them for about anywhere between $7 to $13. Uh, just, you know, as I mentioned, just look out for the uh, tip to be uh, very thin and very small so they can actually get in between uh, those little holes. The build for the pair is very similar to the Peacock in the terms of that the the body itself is actually just strips of uh, sheet metal that you're going to be attaching and then curving along in this case though instead of a u-shape you're kind of doing more of a half circle shape because the parrot's going to have more of a round body and so you know you're going to start with the tail and start adding on a layer by layer um, until you kind of finish the body and you know you're going in the right direction when the the tail of the parrot uh, starts looking like a lobster tail the body is more uh, simpler than the peacock to build just because you're working with an actual concentric shape while the peacock is working with like a u-shaped uh, where you kind of have different angles along the body uh, this is more of a uniform uh, circular shape that you're working with and so once you have that in your mind as you're working it actually goes really quickly and you can kind of have an idea of how to shape the body Once you get to the neck portion, you're going to be attaching the two sides together to create a full circle and then you're going to be crimping it down and then the subsequent layers for the body and neck is going to be the same exact thing where it's going to be full circles wrap around. For the head of the parrot, this is uh, just about I believe four pieces of sheet metal where you're going to have the underside beak attached to the side of the parrot's face and then you're going to be attaching the uh, other side to create kind of a triangle shape and this part was kind of awkward just because it's only being attached by the two uh, tabs on each side of the beak and because you're actually bending it it kind of doesn't want to stay in place that well um, so it, it was a little bit difficult to do but then but what, you, once you're done with that you're going to be attaching it to the body and then kind of crimping it together and then you're going to be uh, making the head more rigid by actually putting the, the head uh, piece so it's a little strip that looks like a triangle that you're going to be attaching and you're going to be bending it uh, so that it kind of forms the beak and the top of the head 
you're actually going to have a sharp bend right at the end of the uh, beak before it curves around to form the head. So I actually started by bending that portion first and then do a slight curve for the rest of the head on each side for the beak and also for the top of the head. And as you can see here, the head is now attached to the body. Now when working with the leg, um, this is going to be a little bit tricky just because you're going to be working with two separate shapes that you're going to be bending together. So you know, you're going to actually have two kind of a cone shape and there's going to be a bend in the middle before you attach uh, the two sides of the legs together to create one full leg. It's kind of difficult just because you're trying to angle it and curve it and then crimp it while it's angled uh, afterwards. And kind of just that whole process is a little bit tricky to do. But after the first one, the second one should be a lot easier because now you know kind of like how, how to deal with the sheet metal and how it bends and how the pieces are supposed to come together. The tail for the parrot is actually a lot simpler than the, uh, the peacock just because you're only working with I believe two or three sheets of metal and that's actually it for the, the tail. It's not like the multitude of strips that you're going to have to put together for the peacock model. However, that being said, you're actually going to put all that effort into the actual wings uh, of the parrot itself and as you can see here, the, the top of the, uh, the back side actually of the parrot and the wings are actually one continuous piece and you're going to be attaching the tail to it and then you're going to be putting the two uh, wings uh, to be attached to this body and the as you can see here the wing itself is actually just the bottom side of the wing which is just a single layer of feathers um, kind of just engraved on but you're, what, the, what you're actually building is the detail for the top of the wingspan itself and we're going to be doing that kind of similar to the peacock model where we're going to be doing individual feathers onto a frame and then once you complete that whole uh, frame, you're going to be attaching it to the wing itself. And this is going to be very similar to the peacock but you know I actually like working with these feathers by just pre-cutting all the feathers out and they are labeled uh, with numbers and also star for I believe the left side or what it may have been the right side um, so you kind of have a color coding or actually number coding system for the feather so you know what the sequence is and you're what you're really just doing is just keep adding them on um, so if you work in assembly line where you actually you know cut the pieces up all at once and then kind of lay them out and then I actually went ahead and bent all the tabs uh, 90 degrees um, for all the feathers before I started assembling it so then uh, once I got to the part of assembling all I had to do is just attach the previous feather to the new feather and then crimp it down uh, with the tab uh, to keep it in place and as you can see here that's how I finish the wing itself um, you know we only have a couple more feathers to go but um, it is kind of wobbly for now but don't worry about that this actually uh, layer is actually going to be kind of giving a wavy form because it's going to be longer than the other pieces of feather that you would be attaching it to So it's actually just one uh, layer of, or actually row of feathers that you're going to be building. Uh, but you're going to be building two of them total, one for each side of the wing. But then the rest is just the strips of wings that you're going to be attaching on. And this is what I mentioned earlier is that the, the feather that you're building is actually longer than the wingspan of the sheet uh, strip of the wing and so what happens is that you're going to get kind of like this wavy form once you start attaching to the tab and this is not a mistake this is actually done intentionally uh, by the manufacturer of uh, metal earth so um, just know that uh, you didn't screw up you didn't actually uh, accidentally put in an additional layer of feather it was intended to be that way by design and so we're going to continue working on each layer of the uh, feather strips and we're going to be adding them on one by one and then kind of attaching it to the previous layers of the feather. As you finish each strip, 
uh, you would want to make sure that the tips are actually bent up and so it's actually easier to bend the feathers up before you attach it on um, with your fingers and then uh, kind of just make sure that if you were pressing down in certain areas and the, the feathers got flat just to kind of flare up the edges of the feathers itself. And then once you're done with the two wings, we're going to be attaching it to the uh, that body frame of the parrot itself. And you're going to actually wrap the tab around uh, on certain areas while you're going to be inserting certain the tabs and actually bending it over. Um, so, and this will actually complete the parrot itself. And once the parrot is complete, we're going to be working on the base stand. Um, which is just a couple of uh, plastic parts. Actually, while I was attaching the parrot in onto the stand itself, it kind of just broke really easily. Uh, so you may have to glue the plastic uh, together in certain areas, but that's only if you uh, accidentally break it. As I finish up this build video, I just want to kind of comment about how great these premium series from Metal Earth uh, are. You know, they have a great amount of detail and they were actually really smart about where to put certain details and intricate levels of uh, parts while, you know, just using engraving on certain uh, other parts that may not be as important. And, you know, here are the final images of the parrot. And as you can see, it looks very great. The colors are, you know, very vibrant. And I'm actually really impressed with, with just the overall quality of this sheet metal uh, build. And so, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you watch, uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel or watch some of the other videos that are on my channel. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.